have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Gotta 
to die. Tears in my eyes, chills down my spine. Now I'm alive. For the first time, nothing can stop me. Don't even try. Take on the world by my lonely. You're right beside a tribe of brothers and sisters. But they feel high when it's time to fly. With it and I don't need an explanation. That's for you to ask yourself as you gon' sink or levitate about the game with David playing. Steady tricking David playing it. Uh, wanna make you dumb so you never make your kingdom come. What they on? Time to stack and build a throne. I've been down and out so long I grew some wings with feathers on it. Ain't no opponent. This little me on me. And that little light gon' shine. Put that all on G.O.D. Yeah. Man, that was the hypeness right there. That got me going. Welcome. Welcome to another Sunday with Nuts with your boy, Dre. Boy, there's nothing like some good music to lift you up to put a smile on your face. Wow. Thank you guys for taking out just a small amount of your time. Again, welcome to another Sunday with Nuts with your boy, Dre. I am your host, Dre. Why? Because, well, I'm Dre. I tell you, it has been quite the week, and it is here. Another Sunday, so we're right back where we started this time last Sunday. And I tell you what, I thank you guys because it means so much to me to share this time with you all. And I know I say it a lot. Matter of fact, I say it quite often. I think I say it all the time, but I really do mean it this time. Not like I didn't mean it the last time or the time before that last time. That was probably going to be the last time that I said the last time. I missed you guys, and I'm so glad you took out just a small amount of your time to share it with me for another Sunday with Nuts with your boy, Dre. And I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to recognize and thank the beautiful woman of God, the visionary, Miss Kimmy Robinson and Elation Magazine for giving me such a wonderful platform in which I can use to help so many people. Here's the disclaimer, folks. I don't do it for me. I do it for you. Why? Because ain't nothing wrong with me. Y'all need your help. Y'all messed up. And I'm a giver. I love giving. I love helping. That's what I do. Okay? And so I just want to be able to touch someone's life in a positive way and make them just a little bit better than they were before. Here we go. Y'all, we're almost at the end of 2021. Can you believe it? It's almost over. We are on the home stretch, I'm telling y'all. And so during this time of the year, of course, I like to give you some of the best of from the previous or or the current year. And I'm telling you, (laughs) we've had some best of. Now, this first segment, of course, is a segment that I am so proud of. I'm so glad I came up with it because testament to just how well I listen and observe the people around me. And it's make that make sense. The make that make sense segment is just that. Make it make sense, y'all. I'm telling you, people are doing some stupid things. They're acting in some stupid ways. And you know what? Maybe it's not them. Maybe they're not idiots. Maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they're not buffoons. Maybe I just don't understand them. It makes sense to them, but it don't make sense to me. So make that make sense. Let me tell you something. It could be you that don't make no doggone sense. A family member that don't make no sense, or a friend, a co-worker, a stranger in the street, someone you see at your local grocery store. That's a bank. Or as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, sunny, but somewhat chilly day. I know it's winter. I believe it's our duty and obligation to point out things to people that just don't make no sense so you can understand them so you won't be like, man, you just an idiot. Here we go. If you don't recognize any of these and anybody that you've ever come across, then you know what? Your life don't make sense because if you understand all of these, come on, you stupid. You ain't got no sense, so you senseless. Make that make sense. Here we go. Uh, This one right here, I'm telling y'all, for the next four weeks, 
I'm giving you guys purely the best of. Make that make sense. Number one, make that make sense. Hey, why are you going to a dermatologist and the dermatologist got bad skin? To make that make sense, why would you go to somebody uh, with your bad skin and they got bad skin too? How can they help you? How can how can they clear your skin up when they got pimples all over their face? Come on now. Make that make sense. This one right here. Make that make sense. Okay. This one almost makes sense from a business or entrepreneurial standpoint. But make that make sense. You park your ice cream truck outside the Weight Watchers group meeting. See, I Again, from an entrepreneurial standpoint, you won't make your money because they in there and, and, and they might be watching their weight in there. But when they come outside, oh, yeah, they're going to jump on that ice cream sandwich. So that kind of makes sense. Make that make sense. Look here. you standing in line to sign up for food stamps after standing in line all night to buy the new Jordan. See, I don't understand that. You don't need the food stamps in that one. Anybody, anybody getting food stamps one and, 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 and can afford the new Jordans, you don't need to be getting food stamps. Make that make sense. Uh, this one right here, make that make sense. You're welcome. Uh, you at a buffet restaurant drinking a Diet Coke. It kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not going to waste those calories with a Diet Coke. That ain't how it works. Make that make sense. You got a hair weed sewn into your wig. Women, stop that. Stop that. That's just stupid. It makes no sense. Maybe. Wait a minute. It may make sense to you. I take that back. Help me understand it. Make that make sense to me. Make that make sense. You call 911 and ask for help paying your phone bill so you can call somebody if you need help. Yeah. Okay. Make that make sense. You going around accusing your landlord of stealing the rent money every first of the month. <sighs> make that make sense. You sitting in the back of the church reading the Playboy magazine. See, no, that don't. Okay. Make that make sense. You studying to be a Muslim and sitting on your couch reading the Quran and eating pork skin. See, I don't. I don't <sighs> Okay. Make that make sense. You going to school or you claim you're going to school to study and get certified as a licensed tambourine instructor. How are you gonna instruct somebody to, you know what? You don't need you don't need no permit or, or no certificate or no diploma or degree to play the tambourine. All you need is two working hands. Uh Make that make sense. You believe, oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. You believe in using secondhand condoms because you figure they've been tested and proven to work. What? You net. Makes that make sense. You still making payments to rent a center after 15 years for a DVD television combination. First of all, uh, yeah, let me tell you something. Uh, a lot of people don't even use DVDs no more. They're not even uh, watching DVDs. They're just streaming. So if you still doing that, especially after 15 years, how much have you paid for that TV DVD combo? At least a couple of hundred thousand dollars? Come on now. Because you know that's on a weekly basis. Quick now. You all are welcome. I love doing what I'm doing because I'm helping so many people, and you all are so welcome. Now, look here. This said, this segment, I actually introduced it a little over a year ago. It's called Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places because everybody wants love. And, of course, this is the holiday season that I'm approaching, and, and we got things that we should definitely be thankful for because we're, we're blessed to have family and and, we're, and health and, and jobs or, or just, a, just a breath in your body. You know, and so it's all about love. It ain't about the gifts and all that stuff. It's about the, the family and the fellowship and just loving each other and enjoying your time with family and friends and loved ones. Okay? And everybody wants love. But sometimes, you know, what, you can look for love in the wrong places. I know some people look for love in bars. Some folks look for love in churches. Some folks, uh, they, they go to the Internet to look for love. But you know what? Sometimes you can go to the wrong places and you can – actually find the wrong kind of love. 
If you're looking for love in these places, trust me, you ain't going to find the right kind of love. Looking for love in all the wrong places, number one. You're looking for love in all the wrong places if you're looking for love in ex-relationships. Why? Because you're familiar with them. I know you're familiar with them, but they're your ex. So after ex should be next. Looking for love in all the wrong places. You're looking for love in all the wrong places if you're looking for love in jail. Why? Uh, you say, well, they ain't got a lot of options. Yes, they do. It's a bunch of sweaty men and, and sweaty women up in there with them, okay? They got options. If you're looking for love in all, you're looking for love in all the wrong places, you're looking for love at a funeral. Why? You say because they're vulnerable. They are vulnerable, okay? And, and, and that's sick. These people are in pain. They hurt. They lost a loved one, and you hitting on them. You, you, you they crying and boohooing on your shoulder, and you, you got your arm wrapped around them. Somebody, it's gonna be all right. Then you whistle. Oh, you show do feel good. What? You looking for love in all the wrong places? You looking for love uh, at a homeless shelter? You figure you might as well look for love there. Why? Where else they gonna go? Wow, you got a point. If they homeless, they ain't got too many other places to go. I mean, where are they going to run to? You looking for love in all the wrong places. You looking for love at your family reunion because you claim you want to keep it in the family. That's nasty. That's sick. And I, I'm i pretty sure it's illegal in most states. Again, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for y'all because y'all messed up. Y'all jacked up. Y'all be ashamed of yourself. Uh, now, you know what? This right here, I'm telling you, I always like to tell you uh, how not to be a thug because a lot of people don't know that they are thug and living a thug life, operating in thug situations. This segment, I tell you, it is definitely one of the staples of the Sunday when nuts with Dre. I'm a thug. <laughs> yes. You know what? You could be the thug. Your thug could be a family member, could be a, a friend, a coworker, could be a stranger in the street. Someone you see at your local grocery store, at the bank, or someone you pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, sunny, yet somewhat frigid day. I believe it's our duty and obligation to point out things and situations to people that are just straight thugged out. Why? Because it's wrong. Tupac lied. Heaven ain't got no ghetto, but hell does. You know what they call it? You got it right. They call it hell. <laughs> if you don't recognize any of these, and anybody you know, that's because all of them are you. And you are straight up thugging. Straight up thugged out to the max. Be better, want better, do better. And see, don't you get better. Stop your thugging. Uh, number one, I'm a thug. You know, I ran away from home when I was 37 years old. Just a thug right there. This man ran away from <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get that out. <laughs> How you a thug? Wait a minute. How you run away from home when you're 37 years old? You know what? Oh, yeah, you know what? I tell you who's a thug. Your parents is a thug for letting you stay there for 37 years living off of them. Before you, they, you decide on your own, it's time for you to get up and get out of here because you're tired of living by their roots. Yeah, you're a thug, all right? And so are they. Thug. Whenever my church has communion, I ask for a to-go box because I ain't come there for nothing but the food. You know what? Just a thug. You ain't come to get you no Jesus. You just came to get you some juice and, and, and bread. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, you're a thug. You're a thug for the devil. Number three, I'm a thug. I took my driver's license test in a stolen car. Yeah, you're a thug, though, right? And if you pass, you know what? Uh, you're going straight to jail. You, you you will not pass go. You're going straight to jail. Number four, I'm a thug. When I was 28, my mama tried to whoop me, and I told her, oh, hell no. Ain't no more switches. You know what? That's a thug right there. First of all, uh, <laughs> if you just stopped getting a whooping at 28, <laughs> you wrong for that anyway. Uh, number five, I'm a thug. My goodness. In my driver's license picture, I'm eating a piece of chicken and smoking a Newport cigarette. Yeah, you're a thug right there. I don't understand why the people let you take your picture like that. What's wrong with you? 
Number six, I'm a thug. I graduated last in my class because I didn't trust anybody to be behind me. So that's a thug right like there. That man don't care nothing about his education. He don't want to be smart. He don't want to be smart. He want to be dumb. But I understand that thugs don't trust nobody. So it kind of makes sense. Makes that make sense. Oh, this one right here. I'm a thug. Now, this is the thug for real, y'all. This is why this will always be one of the staples of the I'm a thug segment, because this is the prime example of a true down and dirty grimy thug. Don't care about nothing. That throws caution to the wind. You can't you can't tell this person nothing. This is a thug you don't ever want to see in the street. I'm a thug. I went to the animal shelter to adopt a dog. Wearing a Michael Vick jersey. Ooh, you can't tell me that ain't no thug. This man went to the animal shelter to adopt a dog wearing a Michael Vick jersey. I'm pretty sure he got declined. But that's a thug for even going up in there like that. I'm a thug. I got a tattoo of a bullet hole on my bullet hole. So that's a thug right there. First of all, he got a bullet hole. <laughs> Every thug got a bullet hole. You know what? I have yet to, to run across a true thug that ain't got no bullet hole. Matter of fact, I think that's part of the curriculum for being a thug is to own your own bullet hole. I'm a thug. I go to a retirement home and steal old people's teeth and then give them jawbreaker candies to suck on. <laughs> Them people are going to be sucking on the job breakers <laughs> for six or seven days. Because <sighs> they can't crush it with their guns. I'm a thug. I told my girlfriend's mother, Woo! <laughs> Girl, you lucky I'm married. So I'm going to break that down again for you again. I'm a thug. I told my girlfriend's mother, Mm. Girl, you lucky I'm married. First of all, she he told his girl he he told his girlfriend's mother she's lucky he's married. Let that marinate with you. If that ain't a thug, I don't know what is. Yeah, that's a straight up thug. Woo wee. Now, this is one of the staples of the Sunday with Nuts with Drake, because I'm telling you, we we're gonna be doing the best stuff for the next four weeks. And here it is, uh out of order. Now, these are some of the best of out of orders. And you know what? I love the out of order segment because a lot of people don't know they're living out of order. So sure don't. They think they got it together. They're doing everything the right way, that they are decent and in order. But they're not. Out of order could be you. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a stranger in the street. Someone you see at your local grocery store, at the bank, or somebody you pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, sunny yet. Day. And I don't mean the kind you eat with beans and crackers and cheese. I'm talking about freezing chili. I believe it's our obligation and duty to point out to people's situations and circumstances and actions that are just out of order. Because what? We want to get them in order, okay? If you don't recognize any of the, any of the people you know, that's because all of them are you. And you're living totally out of order. Get your life in order. Number one, if this is you, you got on. If you got a wheelchair lift on the back of your motorcycle bike, first of all, if you got a wheelchair lift on the back of your motorcycle, you out of order because how the hell are you riding the motorcycle and you in the wheelchair? Don't make that make sense. Yeah. Woo! I almost went into a whole other segment, reverted back to the make that make sense, but you showed up out of order. Uh, if this is you, you out of order, Lord Jesus. Women, if your breast milk is spoiled, you out of order. Women, if your breast milk is crunchy, you out of order. Let me tell you something. Breast milk is spoiled, you nasty. <laughs> if your breast milk is crunchy, you disgusting. Uh, if this is you, you out of order. Me, if you got hair weave in your mustache, you out of order, and you stupid. Uh, if this is you, you out of order. If your nine-year-old still in pampers, who does that? What kind of child are you raising? He know how to cuss, but he don't know how to pee pee in the toilet. He don't know how to poo poo in the toilet. Come on now. If this is you, you got to order. If you so ugly, people pay you 
to scare other people. <laughs> you out of order. I know beauty is in the eyes of a holder, but come on now. You need, you need to hold that ugly to yourself. Uh, if this is you, you out of order. If your, I, oh my gosh, if your elbows so ashy, it looks like they've been dipped in flour. You out of order. Why don't you lotion up? And, 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 and black people, y'all know. When it get cold, y'all know. But I'm telling you, elbows and kneecaps will frost up real quick. Come on now. Lotion yourself up. If this is you, you out of order. If your burp smells worse than your fart, let's say something about your breath. If your burp smells worse than your fart, you showing up out of order. You know what? Finally, I'm going to come to the church announcement, and I love to do the church announcement because you know what? Jesus loves us so much. And you know what they say? You remember that song? God, he got the whole world in his hand. He does. And he does. And I invite you to please join us as we worship and get our praise on. But we are the Jesus take the wheel. I got the gas. Baptist Church. Now, we are small in number, but we are big in faith. I'm going to say it again. We are small in number, but we are big in faith. This is why I like to do the church announcements because, well, it's because I, I want to make sure that everyone's on the same page. That everyone's on one accord. Everybody's in agreement, okay? There's no saint left behind. I like to do the church announcements for individuals that may have uh, not been able to attend the service in-house or in the sanctuary or uh, don't have access to the Internet and they are unable to watch it as we stream. Uh, for the sick to get and to shut it up in. also like to do the church announcements for individuals that may have been in the uh, church in the sanctuary, uh, or may have been watching us as we stream, but missed some parts or all of the announcements because they were busy running their mouth. Let me tell you something. <laughs> there ain't nobody be at this, okay? If I owe somebody in the church money. If somebody in the church lend me money and I ain't paid them back yet, trust me. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. That's between me and that person. And for your information, you keep running your mouth and 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 and, and put my business out of the street like that. You'll never get your money. Now try that on for size. Hmm. Uh, and that's number one. Uh, we raise the love off for, for uh, our guest speaker from uh, Tallahassee, Florida, and. Uh, he netted a total of uh, $68.13 uh, to help uh, with his expenses. Uh, he also uh, handed me a, a thank you card, and it reads, for what you did. Go to here. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess he wasn't appreciated. Uh, that's going to, uh, we had had a couple uh, uh, pre-Valentine's Day planned and a dance that we was going to uh, do in uh, January. And uh, the committee was getting together and, and putting these plans together, but I had to punch Deacon Miller out uh, uh, because uh, we were – Sitting around and and, and 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 talking and discussing and and playing music, and he had the nerve to uh, ask my wife to dance, and his zipper was down, and so I had to punch him out because let me tell you something, uh, you ain't finna uh, <laughs> you, you ain't finna be dancing with my wife. First of all, you ain't gonna ask her to dance. You sure ain't finna be dancing with 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 your stuff hanging out. You put your sword in in, in your staff up. Okay, you ain't Moses. You ain't got to have your staff in your hand and be around my wife. That ain't gonna fly. Uh, this one right here, uh, this announcer, whoever made the strawberry cake uh, last week, it was stale and nasty. It was disgusting. It really was. Uh, this announcer right here, uh, Mother Perline, please wear some decent stockings next Sunday. Your legs look like beef jerky. It was gross. Uh, this announcement right here, Brother Taiwan, uh, I know you support breast cancer awareness and everything, 
but uh, you're not going to come sit in the front of the church in no pink yoga pants and matching sports bra. Uh-uh, little bro. We're not going to have that. No. Not on my watch. Not in my pew. Uh, Dick and Larry, uh, Dick and Larry played the numbers and hit for $500 last Wednesday, but he just put Ten dollars in the collection plate. Uh, check him out, bro. Uh, Ten percent of five hundred fifty, not ten. Uh, this announcement here, Sister Jackie. The church paid uh, the water bill for you and your kids for a reason. Please use the water. Y'all in the church smell like y'all been dipped in slave juice. Finally, we get to the part of the announcement that I always look forward to and I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's the building fund, and as of the day, the building fund has raised, and I'm going to put it just like it's put on this paper. As of the day, this building fund has raised uh, a lot of questions and few answers. Uh, let me tell you something about this building fund. I'm so glad we we to the point where I can talk to you about the building fund. Uh, in 2022, I'm going to tell you about this building fund. What we're not going to do is we not and to keep talking about no building fund if ain't nobody putting us in for the building fund. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to start letting folks in the church on Sundays, but you don't have to pay to get out. If you ain't paying, you fighting your way out, and you best to believe I'm going to be down for the cause. So next, starting next Sunday, from here on out, for at least the next five to six Sundays, when you see me, in the pulpit preaching, and I got on sweats and tennis shoes and a baseball cap with thug life turned to the back, you better know. You in here for free, but you have to fight to get your way out. Enough said. Well, thank you all so much for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with Drake. And like I always like to do, I'm going to pass out. So I ask that all here's about, all eyes are closed. Listen, of course, you uh, then if you're blind, it really don't matter, does it? I mean, seriously? Really? For real? Wow. Oh, Lord. We thank you for another Sunday when nuts would drink. We thank you for another opportunity to come together in fun, faith, and fellowship. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Which way? That way. Thank you for opening doors that no man can shut. Hey, hold that door. Thank you for being a doctor in the sick room. What room is that? I guess it's this room. I just sneezed and coughed. <laughs> Thank you for being a lawyer in the courtroom. Guilty. Not guilty. Mistrial. Uh-uh. Most of all, we thank you for being God and God alone. Loving us more than we could ever love you or even ourselves. Now continue to bless and keep us. Hold us close to your bosom. And keep your angels around us, Father God. Shield us. Please shield us. Please shield us. From all hurt, harm, and danger. And we will be mindful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Now you all have a blessed night and have a great week. Be blessed and not stressed. I cannot wait to see you because we are continuing with the best of. And next Sunday, whoo, it's going to be nothing but the best of the church announcement. Y'all do not want to miss the best of these church announcements. I'll see you next week. It's going to be more nuts with more Drake because I'm uh, a little hungry, so I'm going to eat me a little bite and put on just a little bit of weight. I love you guys, and there's nothing you can do to stop my love. And if you get in my love's way, my love will mow you down. You guys take care. Oh, I miss you already. Good night. Yeah, I'm coming out the jungle oh, yeah. And my words don't have a fumble no, no, no. He got my heart and won't crumble oh, oh. I'm tired of hearing about the struggle oh, yeah, yeah. Got you grow another level yeah. Acting like I killed the devil yeah. With myself I'm gonna wrestle oh, oh, yeah, yeah. God gave me something special oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2019 is gonna be my year Coming off the road, coming to the car.
world flow Never do just for show Want the world to know I'm going higher God got the liar They got me flyer They hit me with a fire I'm coming out the jungle With my words I'll never fumble He got my heart and it won't crumble I'm tired of hearing about the struggle Got just go another level Acting like I killed the devil Myself, I'm gonna wrestle. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. God gave me something special. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it in my yay, yeah, yeah. in my yay, yeah, yeah. in my yay, yeah, yeah. in my yay. Yeah. Huh. That's a line you were supposed to hear me say. Let uh. me and bro decide to take a break. Huh. Yeah, I'm rich, but I don't want the fame. Huh. But I got the courage to make a change. Yeah. I ain't got a problem if I stay the same. Huh. Only got rich because of Jesus' name. I'm gonna 